Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video and this is layout two for my vineyard adventure with my sister. So you guys saw layout one um, before this one. That was the last video before this one. So now I'm pulling in all the scraps from that last layout to now make this companion page. So I have the leftover of this beautiful autumnal floral uh, and then a leftover of that burnt orange cardstock. So I'm going to again piece those together to create my 12 by 12 like I did on the last layout and I'm just uh, gluing my photos together same as the last layout and I will do the same matting so I will mat both of these together on some white cardstock and then mat them on this really beautiful rich wood grain and corner around the edges I wanted right off the bat for you to be able to tell that this layout goes with the last layout even though it ends up looking different and there's a different design I want a lot of those elements to cross over so that they look like they belong together so um, it was kind of easy getting started because I really just looked at the last layout I did and tried to figure out how I can mimic it on this one so first thing I'm going to do is get the photo situation done um, this is the, the vineyard is this really cool looking barn and the inside uh, is basically they have different event spaces and eating areas and the wine bar where you can go um, to get all of the wine tasting stuff. Um, they also had like charcuterie boards and stuff you could buy, which I think we really want to go back and do the charcuterie board with the wine tasting. Um, but today we were hungry and we wanted the food truck that was there. So that's what we decided to do instead. Um, but I really wanted to kind of document this because my last layout were just pictures that my sister took of me when we did a mini like photo shoot in the vineyard. So this one is the one picture I have of me and my sister. So I really thought that was important to document. <laughs> and she looks so cute too. And she styled me and she picked out my outfit for this so I could look cute too. Um, but I really wanted to have the picture of both of us documented as well as this really cool barn. Um, they had a lot of areas where there were just circular chairs sitting, like chairs in a circle around a fire pit. Um, and I, I mentioned on the last one, there was like live music and all that stuff. And you could walk through the vineyards and it was just really, really cool. So I wanted, <laughs> there's that first layout you can see I'm trying to compare to make sure that I'm kind of on track with what I did the last time. Um, but it was really cool. So I want to make sure I kind of document both sides. The last layout was kind of sad talking about how this day we lost our cat. So this one I want to um, kind of focus more on us enjoying the day and each other and the location. So um, I wanted to get another branding strip on here. So I decided to pull in the pink grid branding strip because there's some pink in this pattern paper that I want to kind of pull out a little bit. And then because of the branding strip I used on the last layout was the yellow gingham. There is a tag that's yellow gingham that I really wanted to get on this page. That way that pattern is also on both areas. And then again, this other pink corduroy heart, I really wanted to get on this layout because I used the other pink corduroy heart on the last one. So I'm really just trying to tie all these elements across both pages. So I'm creating this larger cluster at the top here. Um, and then I'm thinking I'll have a cluster maybe to the bottom right of the photo so that it kind of frames those areas. The really important ephemera piece I need to get on this page is this really cool wood veneer disc that has this arrow design stamped in it. This is the, um, the chips that they gave you for the wine tasting. So you basically buy a wine tasting package and they give you a little stack of these wood veneer chips and you basically redeem your next glass with one of these chips. And I was telling my sister, I was like, I really want to save one of these wood veneer chips so I can use it on um, the scrapbook page because we're scrapbookers and we do that. Uh, but I really wanted to be able to use uh, or get all of the different drink tastings because you only got like five I think um, and I really wanted to be able to try everything because they had kind of a wide range and we had picked out our five wines that were a really nice segue between sweet and dry and red and white and all that um, <clears throat> but someone didn't want the rest of their chips and just left them on the table and we like watched them and they like drove away like they were not coming back and we waited for a while for someone to collect them or use them or something. And so um, I took one of theirs and then I left the rest of them for someone else to be able to use them for more wine, I guess. But I saved that one for this page so I could use my five chips for wine and still have one left over. So that actually ended up working out really, really well. But their logo is this arrowhead 
Um, so I just thought it was perfect to get that on this page, especially because it's the actual chip that we use. So I always love when I can get ephemera like that used up. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this corduroy heart can kind of be the main cool thing in this upper cluster, um, but this wood veneer piece is going to be kind of that cool element in the other cluster. So um, I decided to title it with, with the same thickers as the last page. I just called it Sister Date. And now I'm pulling in some more pink. I really thought it needed another pink element. So I have... Um, the pocket card that I fussy cut the label from on the last layout um, is this solid pink and I kept the scraps and then those are the scraps I used for this horizontal bit. So I cut one edge into a banner and the other edge I used a notebook punch so that, that looks kind of like a long layer behind my uh, wood grain layer. And so I'm really glad I got that used up and added a little bit more pink. And now I'm just trying to piece together everything. I definitely wanted this black and white pattern up there by the yellow tag on this page. That is the pattern of the frame and the tag on the first page. That piece is actually gutted from the tag that was behind my um, photo layers. So I wanted to tie that, that uh, pattern over on this page as well. So just trying to make these pages look as cohesive as possible. <laughs> And there is even another piece of that black and white tag that I gutted again because I didn't need all of it for that top cluster. So I cut it into a banner for this bottom cluster. So that pattern is also in both areas, which makes me happy. And then that little label I fussy cut from the last page, I saved a piece of that. And that is going to be um, added to the wood veneer cluster too. So uh, that just makes me really happy that all of those pieces were kind of scraps I didn't have to save from this last page that I did that pretty much composed the layers for <laughs> this one. So i um, super happy with that. I'm now trying to figure out what I want to do stamping wise. I definitely, definitely want to try and stamp on every layout this month. Um, and so I decided to use two stickers, but stack them together so that they read, they read together as one. So I'm doing together and grateful. So together it reads grateful together. And again, using my amazing stamping platform from Ronnie. I love it so much. <laughs> and um, I thought I just needed uh, the H didn't transfer completely. So again, I just double stamped, which I can do now with my stamping platform. And the stamp still looks really crisp on the layout. So um, that's my stamping. I am going to thread this yellow tag with some black and white twine. Um, I used the Felicity Jane ribbon on the tag on the previous page, but that tag is a lot larger and I thought that black and white ribbon, I don't even know if it would fit through the hole on this little yellow tag, um, but I thought it would overwhelm the space. So I tried to keep the same idea, but I did black and white twine instead of um, the ribbon itself. <clears throat> And then I'll need to do some journaling. So I didn't want my journaling to take away from the design at all. I knew it had to be on the solid because the floral would have been way too busy to try to journal over. So I just down the side said bachelorette celebration at Choir Lucy Vineyards with Becca. I wanted to definitely note where we were in the name of the vineyard. And then I wanted to mention what this little wooden chip was. I thought it would, I, I didn't want to ever forget that that what that chip is. <laughs> um, so I'll go back and add a little bit of journaling right under that banner cluster with the wood grain chip that has a little arrow that points to the um, wood veneer that says wine tasting token, just so I remember. <laughs> um, but now I'm going through with these little hexagon chipboard stickers in a couple of areas. I love that they give you all of the colors from the collection so you can really pick and choose which one will go best on each page. So on this one, I wanted more of the yellow and pinky ones. Um, and there I'm adding that last bit of journaling. But I think we're almost done. I don't think I do too much more than this. I'm trying to remember. This is where I'm adding the black and white twine. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I add anything else. Um, these are both pages together, so you can kind of see how they tie in. They don't look like a double page, but they look like companion pages, which is what I was going for. So um, that's basically documenting my first bachelorette event. And then I'm hoping to bachelorette uh, do the bachelorette uh, trip to Helen with my mom this month too, because North Georgia Mountain and in fall is just beautiful <laughs> and um, this is a very fall collection that I thought would be perfect for that event as well um, 
oh, I decided to add some, I needed another yellow element down here by the wood veneer. That's the way it was because I have the yellow tag at the top. I wanted another yellow element down here. So I went to that little uh, info sheet that comes with the collection and added that little yellow scallop piece. So now here are the, the uh, close-ups and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.